What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingBee.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom fonts with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at defining custom fonts. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingBee.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I've got a little app here, and you can see I've got three buttons, and they all have different fonts, small font, medium font, and big font. And this one has a cross through it and an underline, and it's italics and all kinds of things. Now, we've changed fonts for buttons and labels and things in the past. That's not what I'm talking about in this video. In this video, I'm talking about defining an actual font that we can then apply to any button or label or widget any way we want. And uh, it's a little bit different, it's a little interesting, and uh, it can make your life a lot easier, especially if you're changing all the fonts of all your things and you want to define it just one time and then use it on everything else. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So I've got a file called fonts.py. It's our basic Kinter starter code that we always use. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So to do this, we need to import font, which is a Kinter thing that we can use. So let's go from, and let's go tkinter.font. We want to import capital font, right? So now we can use the font library or whatever to sort of define our own fonts. We can't like create a font. We're not like using Photoshop to like craft certain fonts, but we can define fonts that already exist and their attributes and use them uh, throughout our program. So what we all we need to do is let's just define this thing. And I'm going to start out by calling it big font. We want a big font. And now this is going to equal a font, right? Which is this thing that we just imported is basically a widget now, right? And now we can set all the things that we want. So we can set the family, the font family. And you know, I always use Helvetica. So I'll just put Helvetica in there, right? And then we can set the size. So this is a big font. So I'm going to set it at 42, really big. You know, these goes from zero to, you know, as much as high as you want, basically. Uh, your basic, basic text is usually 12-ish, you know, 12, 14, 10, somewhere around there. So uh, that's sort of your starting point with size. So size 42, pretty big. Now we can set the weight of this if we want. So I'm going to set this to bold. So you can do bold or you can do normal. If you want normal, you can just leave off weight. But I'm going to make this bold. So let's put this as bold. Now we can also do slant if we want. So we can do italic. This will make it italic slanted. Or we can do Roman, which is regular straight up and down. So I'll leave this at Roman. Again, if you just want it to be the normal default, you don't have to put a slant on there and set it equal to Roman, but you can. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, we can have an underline. So this is either a one to have it underlined or a zero to not have an underline. So I'll leave that off for now. And you can, we can also have an over strike. And we can set that to one to have it strike through or zero to not have it strike at all. And really that's all there is to it. So now, so let's uh, comment here, define our font. Okay, and now we can come down here and let's define a button. And I'm gonna call this my underscore button one. And this is a button. We wanna put it in root. We want the text to equal, uh, let's say big text. And now we also have to set the font. Now, normally when I set the font for something, I do like, you know, Helvetica. Well, that's not spelled right, but you get the idea. This is how I usually set the font. Well, instead of putting all of this stuff in here, from now on, whenever we wanna use this font, we just call big font whatever we called it, right? So big font, and that's all there is to it. So now let's uh, my underscore button dot pack and give this a pad Y of like 20 to push it down screen a little bit. So we can save this and let's run it. So let's go Python fonts dot pi. And when we do, we get this big text text. It's bold, uh, it's Helvetica, and it's very cool. We can set, you know, we can change this if we want. Say if we want uh, times, right? We could save this and run it. And you can see now the text is slightly different. It's not Helvetica anymore. It's uh, kind of got brackety things on the T, you know, and it's, uh, you know, it's just a little bit different. So that's really all there is to it. Now, we can use this big font anytime we want. So if we came down here and, uh, and made a label, 
So let's go my underscore label, and that's a label. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal more big text. And we can set the font equal to big font. And again, we can my underscore label dot pack. Give this a pad Y of like 20, push it down the screen a little bit. Same deal, we can save this and run it. And down here now we have this text is in that same size, right? It's big, it's bold, it's uh, it's a uh, times font. And it's very cool. So, you know, we can play around with this if we wanna see, for instance, uh, what a different thing, what, what these different options are. So we can come down here and let's make this one um, medium font, right? And so let's change this to Helvetica. Helvetica, there we go. And maybe we'll put this at 24. Maybe we want this to be normal. Instead of Roman, let's put this at italic. Right? I always want to put italics because that's how I say it, italics, but it's italic, right? And if we wanted underline, maybe we could do that. And so let's come down here and well, instead of maybe, let's just copy this guy. Instead of making this label big font, maybe we'll change that to medium font, right? So we save this and run it. You can see this is different font face. This is Helvetica as opposed to Times up here. It's underlined. It's kind of slanted a little. It's smaller text. It's not bold, right? Very cool. And it's just that easy. Now, anytime you want to use those things, those fonts, you could just call them by calling their name and slapping them in the font section of your widget where you define the widget and you're good to go. So this may seem like a very simple thing, but it's very useful, especially if you have an app with lots of buttons or lots of text and you want that text to have the same cohesive font style throughout your app and you don't want to define it on every single one because maybe later on you want to change the font. So if you've defined all of your text or in all of your buttons and all of your things to have big font font and you want to change big font, to slightly smaller, you can change it in one place, right? We could just come up here where we define this thing. And if we wanted to, you know, if the boss said 42 is big, too big, we, we need to put it at 40 from now on. You could just change that right there and it will update on all of your widgets, all of your buttons, all of your labels, all of your everything throughout your app and just much easier to do it that way. And uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 on memberships. They pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.